everybody, this is Arnie from EcoCycle.ca and today we are putting together a power pack engine drive and we're going to use the power pack light and the power pack light is for the 212 style gas engines like the 212 Predator and today we're doing something a little different. We're going to use the CVT with aluminum backing plate on the power pack bracket. Uh, for those of you who have been following the channel, you know that the power packs are designed to mount these engines with reverse gearboxes, but the small block versions also mount the CVT with this backing plate. We're going to show you how to do that. So stay tuned. Okay, I think we got action here. Anyways, uh, this is kind of like an out of the box audit for the small block light for me, just to make sure that uh, when you get it, everything goes good. So this is from the most recent batch. So we're just gonna cut open that box and check it out inside. So let's see how she looks here. Oh, oh those staples really hold the thing together, wow. Okay, yeah, that cheap, that looks good. Okay, so we're gonna just take this guy out of here. We're gonna pop this piece of styrofoam off. And here's the instructions right here. Oh, a little damp. Maybe that's why they put them in plastic bags. And here is the power pack light bracket. Okay, so check that out. So you, this will was designed primarily to mount your reverse gearbox, and um, it also mounts the CVT backing plate, which I will show you momentarily. So I've been just strapping the hardware down to the inside, so you'll need a pair of side cutters or a knife to cut those off. One, two, and let's see. What's in this goodie bag here? Oh, boy, it sure is a good pack. All right, so this is all our hardware here. Okay, so we've got three uh, gearbox mounting bolts. We've got two power pack mounting bolts with crush sleeves, in case you need those. There's a clutch bolt in here may or may not be included and there's four engine bolts one and three quarter inch long engine bolts so everything you need to mount your gearbox together is included in the package so uh this is the power pack light bracket and um generally the gearbox is designed to fit into this cavity here and the gearbox actually serves as being a structural support of the bracket so if you're using the cvt backing plate uh you definitely need to use these spacers here and these three eighths mounting bolts and uh, you got a couple options where you put those but uh, basically what you want to do is you want to cross bolt these uh, spacers into the power pack so that it gives the bracket some some structure uh, because like I said you don't really have the benefit of the gearbox but the, these are all included now with the power pack bracket kit so you can use these at the uh, at the tabs at the bottom or you can use them in some of these pre uh pre-cut holes that are in the bracket so we're just going to get this guy in here so a couple holes right at the bottom here uh right above the mounting slots that you can uh you can put these little cross braces in and again it's all just about giving this a little bit of structural strength okay so i don't know i don't think there's really much difference whether you put it on the one side or oh well, actually you know what let me I, I retract that and thinking about it put the head on this side of the bracket because this is where your drive chain is going to be running and you don't want a uh you don't want a bolt hole a bolt and sticking out getting in the way of anything it's going to swap out our sockets here Good old 916s. And one. 
Okay. Now we've added some cross bracing to the power packs. Light, you can see these uh, two crossbars right there, and uh, that's really going to add a lot of rigidity to the bracket. So the next step is to install the engine. And you know what? I'm just going to swap some stuff around here uh, so you can see what's going on. We're going to put the power pack bracket, and we'll put it right like this. Okay, so use the cutout right there. Throw your engine on top. Okay, be very careful because um, these things can be a little bit of a little tippy because you got all this engine on top of here. So we're just going to use the included hardware that comes with your power pack bracket. And we're gonna put a washer on the top of the, the top of the bolt head and drop those hardwares in. Forgot that washer already. Then we will cinch her down, line her up and cinch her down. So these uh these ratchet wrenches are super for this application here. And I'm just gonna continue this process until I get them all basically cinched down and then we'll continue on from there. Uh so yeah, so um we've got that done now. Now we're just gonna stick on the CVT backing plate. And I'm sure many of you recognize one of those. That is the Tab 230 CVT backing plate. And it is going to go right on to the engine, just like you would. And you're going to put that in basically a vertical fashion. And that's going to basically put that CVT driven clutch in roughly the same position as it would be if you were using the gearbox. And it all fits in there nice. So we're just gonna get these bolts started. I'm gonna put four bolts in here. This comes with the CVT kit, this hardware. And I don't know if they're a standard thread or a metric thread to be honest with you. I think it looks like I see some metric markings on the bolt there. But anyway, they're included. So a 10 millimeter. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna do a criss crisscross and there you have it you've got the CBT and you can see that the um, the snout of the casting just fits perfectly into that little cut out there it's almost like it was made to go there I guess in some ways it was because I made it so now we're going to stick on the primary clutch and uh, I've had this together already in a different bracket so I know that I need a thin washer and I need a thick washer and then we're going to stick on the the uh, fixed sheave then we're going to pop on our belt with the flat side toward the engine and some of these belts say put this side toward the engine and this one doesn't so that's okay so flat side goes toward the engine I'm just going to pop it over our little bushing here. Okay, so there you go. So that's on there. Now we're going to put on our clutch components. This is our drive hub. You know, the thing I really dislike about these CVT kits, which is one thing the power pack does address, 
is just the engagement. There's like, there's maybe half an inch of shaft sticking out here. So that half an inch of shaft has got to catch this driver hub. And uh, it's not a lot. It really isn't. The, uh, the power pack engine drive using the gearbox offers the advantage of getting rid of this plate. So this clutch uh, sheave can be much closer to the engine and it gives you way more engagement on that that hub, that driver there, that spline gadget. I said I was going to learn all the terminology for all these parts, but I still haven't. And finally, we put in our clutch bolt. You can use up to a two and a half inch bolt, I find, with these CVTs. And we're just going to tighten all this down. And we're just going to give her a little eyeball, make sure that the distance between everything is the same front to back and everything is parallel. I'm just going to slip this guy over to the center now. And we're going to cinch her all down. So there you have it. Power pack light, 212cc gas engine, CVT belt drive transmission using the cast aluminum backing plate. You can also put on your clutch cover now. Uh, that's one advantage that you have over the gearbox. Uh, you can use your factory CVT clutch cover. And um, if you want to upgrade to the gearbox later, it's super easy to do, do so. You already got the hardware kit that comes with your power pack bracket. So if you don't want to invest in the gearbox yet, and you got a CVT backing plate, or you're going to have to get that anyway. Under $100 for a CVT backing plate. Engines are still dirt cheap. So uh, order your power pack bracket kit today. This is the light. The difference between the light and the deluxe is the deluxe offers a jack shaft and a battery mounting provision if you happen to have electric start. Um, so yeah, so you take your pick. They're uh, in many ways very similar and will mount a 196 to 224 cc GX style clone motor. So if you like that, you know where to go. www.ecocycle.ca I got them in stock and uh, happy to ship you one out whenever you want it. See ya. Okay, we're going to fire this guy up. Turn it on. Turn the fuel on. Turn the gas on. And let's see if she starts here. She runs and I'm getting smoked out. So see ya.